Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melder Production, and recently somebody asked me if you could use M Drum Replacer to layer samples or create velocity layers, and if you could even use your own drum samples. And the answer is yes. So today I want to show you how you can do that. It may not be you know that apparent at first, so I thought I'd you know do this and show you how you can. So let's get started. Uh, just open it up here. Let's bypass it, and let's just hear the drum track. So this is just a snare track. Uh, you hear some hi-hats in there, but uh, it should just be a snare. So here is just the preset snare drum. We can listen to it. You heard when I took it off bypass, you can hear the sample come in there. What I'm going to do now is turn it to 100% wet just so I can hear it. And I'm thinking that some of the hi-hats are actually triggering the snare drum, so I'm just going to move the threshold so it doesn't do that. That's sounding a little bit better. It sounds like I'm just getting the snare drum now and I'm not getting some of those uh, or hi-hat hits. Now, what we really want to get into is, you know, the layering. So instead of the drum library here, let's go into the drum editor. So you see here we have multi-sample. This multi-sample is what we already have on here, but we don't want that. We want to use our own samples. So what we're going to use is the sampler, like this. Okay. Uh, just for this, so it's not too loud, let's get rid of all these effects. Although you can add them here if you want. Like, oh, you have, you know, effects you can add on there to change it. But for now, let's get rid of these. Have it dry. Now, here you see the factory, and we have all the things that are included in uh, M Drum Replacer. But we can change this. I'm going to change it to custom. Okay, so now you have, this is my hard disk, or my hard disks, I should say. Uh, I'm going to go into here, samples. Like this. Actually, let me make this smaller just so you can see a little bit better. I have drum samples. And let's just take one here. Drums. And let's take snares. I'll just use this and turn it 100% so we can hear it. And let's hear what it sounds like. I'll just use that. I actually don't like this <laughs> that much, but it's easy to hear and you can tell, you know, what's happening here. We could also reverse it like this. I don't really need that. And you can also delay it too, if that's what you want to do. Now, this is good. We have one, but you're probably thinking, okay, well, I want to actually like layer this. So actually, if you click this open, you can actually see what the snare looks like and you can change the start point if that's what you want to do, or I could, you know, cut down the volume. There's lots of things we could do with this, but uh, that's for another video. You can even change the pitch here. What I want to do actually is layer it though. So you see here in the right here, it says show layers. Click on this, and now you see something that pops up that says velocity layers. You're like, okay, what's this do? Click this to just expand it here. And this is our first layer, what I just let you listen to. Ooh. Sorry, that's a bit loud. Uh, so that's our first layer. But let's say we want to add a different layer. Click this here. Now we have a different layer, which now you see has nothing in it. So just like we had factory before, we're going to change it to custom. Go into D here. Go down to my samples, uh, drum samples, and find something else. Just whatever you want. Uh, I'm just doing this quickly so I can find you know different samples here. Ooh, that's also very loud. Uh, now we have these two samples together, and if I... Actually, let me see. Do I want to bring the level down? I might bring the level down of each of these here, like this. And by clicking this here, it'll just play one layer. Like that. And what I actually want to do is layer them together. Now, here it has first, so that means it's only going to play this top one here. But if I click all here, it's going to play them both at the same time when this is playing, like this.
So you see there, okay, well, now I can blend them together. You notice I use the volume here to bring down the second uh, sample. So it's not quite so loud because it was too loud. I'm sorry about that. But that's basically how you can do it. You can also adjust the panorama, you can adjust the pitch from here, etc. But you're probably wondering, okay, well, can you only use two? And the answer is no. You see the plus here, I can do more here. I can go, ooh, I can go, I can go crazy if I want. I, I have no idea what the actual limit is, but it's a lot. Maybe the limit might just be the amount of RAM you have on your computer. I'm not sure. Uh, but there's a ton you can do with this. Also, here is a copy. So if you want to copy it and uh, you know paste it, you could do that too. See, it just copies it and makes another copy of the same thing I had if you wanted to maybe change the pitch or something like that or just change something a little bit, but uh, erase that. Uh, you can see how to do that. With two layers, let's say we want to create velocity layers. So you see here we have velocity. Let's say the top layer I want it to be from like really hard hits uh, and uh, maybe from like the middle velocity around like 50% or let's say 70% to 100, I want this one to play. And then I want this one to play from 0% to about 70%. So let me play that and let's see if that works. So some of the hits should be this top sample here and some of them should be the bottom sample. So you can hear the changes. I had it at 70, which wasn't right, but when I moved it down to 50, you could hear, the, you know, it's actually layering it. And you can have the layers actually cross each other if you want, so that way there'll be some points where both of them are playing at the same time. But uh, that's basically how you do it. And you could add another layer and have that, you know, always playing it at 100%. So you can do anything there. You could also have this random, which I don't know if you'd want to normally, like this. So this way it's going to alternate between them at a random intervals like this. You might want to do that if you want like round robins or something. You can set it to random like this. So that's another way to do it. Another thing you might want to do is after you have this, you're like, ah, this sounds great and I want this sound on multiple songs. What you can do is actually save this layer so that way you don't have to do it again. You're like, okay, I have everything perfect. I might, you know, have the layers exactly how I wanted them. I had, you know, five samples I had to layer, but now I got it. You can save it and then later just click load layer and it'll load everything in there again for you. Also, if you have something that's, uh, let's say you layer like five of them together and they're not velocity layers, but they're just, you know, stacking one on top of the other. Like this one's doing like the low end, this one's doing the mids, this one's doing the highs. And this sounds great. Maybe I want to, you know, use this on a completely different song uh, in a drum machine or something like that. You can click export layer and that will just spit it out as one wave file. And you can use that again. So you can create like your own drum sounds from that. And also, if you find that maybe you have some, you know, drums you recorded yourself or maybe you downloaded or something, who knows, where it's actually velocity layers for perhaps a snare drum. You can hit import multiple samples as multi-layer and it'll just import all these layers for you. So like maybe I have, you know, five different velocities for snare drums. You can hit that and it'll, you know, import them for you. You don't have to do this manually in that case. So... Hopefully I explained how you can do this and, you know, you can get to layering and having fun and doing all sorts of stuff. By doing this, there's all sorts of possibilities. Uh, also, don't forget you have the delay here. So if you want to shift things in time, you can have fun with that too. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions you have down below and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.